Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of season 4 of My Hero Academia. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Come here. Thank you. so fucking cute. Oh, my son, I love him so damn much. Go play. <laughs> of course, I mean they're villains. What do you think they're gonna do? But isn't it just a little weird, though? Mm. It is cowardly, but you know, villains do that, bro. Oh. 
Mm. Yeah, fuck. I'm not ready for him. That's what I have minions. And don't just stand there, follow him. Mm -hmm. No, fuck. My side, oh my god.
See, I don't remember the one in the back with the freaking bag over his head. I don't remember what he does. Just go. It's his choice. I'll be fine. Gotta hurry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my poor baby, oh my god! <laughs>
Thomas, you don't say that about yourself. Just use it and get back to your favorite. It still would have been better to show the backstories of these three instead of just telling it, but I mean, they did that in the manga, so it's okay. Like a cult, basically.
just kind of compare it to when you're obsessed with someone, but. He went, mm hmm. Oh, he did so fucking good. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my baby. But just seeing, like, the backstory on Marlon be animated. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't. My fucking heart. It hurts. But like, it's so good. Just seeing them together. I'm about to cry. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, God. I just need the new beach, Eddie. I mean, there's something else I want to say, but I can't say it. <laughs> but it was so fucking good. Just seeing her to take them on, like, oh my god, because I remember at first, I was like, hold on, wait, 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 how can you be so sure that you can take all these three on, on your own, god damn it. But he did it, and I was such a proud mommy that day, I cried my ass off, and I was just like, bruh, I can't. It was everything I needed. Like, even the backstory of me, too. But still, with the villains, I still would have wanted to see, like, a full backstory. But I, I get it. You know, when it's, like, I want to say minor villains, you know, sometimes you can't really care about putting in a backstory. You just have to put in a sentence and just be like, here's somewhat of their backstory and how, you know, Chiaki Overhaul came in and basically saved them because they kind of look at him as somewhat of a, you know, a leader of a cult or whatever. Oh, no! 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 God damn it! No! <laughs> no, I'm not ready! No, I didn't think it would have came- Oh my god. Oh, fuck. I didn't think that was gonna be next. I thought they were gonna go, like, back to Deku, but then no, they're like, no, here's the other Kirishima episode, here's part two! And I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I'm not ready for this. This is like, oh my god. This is like, this next episode, between his first episode and this episode, this next episode next week is like literally why I love Kirishima so fucking much. And why I told people last year, I was like, yeah, you know how, like, I was like, yeah, he's gonna get a lot of moments. I was like, just you wait. You, you may not think he's getting anything now, but in season four, he's gonna get a lot, and it's just gonna be so fucking good. Okay, so back to Chiaki and, um, you know, his group. Uh, there are times where, like, I've sat and thought that Chiaki is, he, he is a leader, but, like, his whole group, it seems like a cult. Everybody is in here because of the fact is they've all had, like, maybe a somewhat tragic backstory, and they've all maybe we're good in the beginning and now they're bad but then with Chiaki's help they're all a part of something even greater but it's also becoming in a way each of those three that you know Tomoki went against was almost like somewhat obsessed with them because like I said they don't really go um that much into detail about these three and really kind of I think the next two that you know uh Fat Gum and uh Kirishima are gonna go into go against sexy because I really don't remember because it's been about like two years <laughs> since I've read this arc and so either like I'm remembering things as they happen or like maybe like 
I somewhat, but it just depends because like there's a lot of things that like I forgot and then there are things that are coming back to me because like I mean two fucking years. You think you'll remember everything from one fucking arc. I mean I remember so like the big important stuff that's coming that I can't talk about until we get there, but um it's just the way they all appreciate each other in this group. It just seems more like a cult. And I mean, bruh, you, you just can't. I, I mean, I, I just love this arc so much. It, it's so good, but the, the shit that goes down in this arc, it's just like, holy fucking shit. And so, I mean, I remember going, like, going back to episode one and, like, thinking for this season, I was like, oh, there's no way in hell they're going to be able to get, like, everything done. And, like, we're getting closer and closer to everything that I'm, like, I'm hella ready for, but then at the same time, I'm not ready for. So, I, I felt like, I think I said, like, 12 or 13. We're on episode 8. We're on episode 9 next week. So, I, I don't know. I can say they could, it could last about maybe 13, 14 weeks until, may, I don't think they're going to end it, like, because we're very close to winter break. So, I don't think they'll... I don't know. I can't say that either because if they end the, like, wherever they're going to end it before everything goes off for, like, a couple weeks until January comes in. Or, I, I, you know what? It'd be really stupid if they did this. Like, if they had a cliffhanger and they're like, we're not coming back until February, I would literally call bullshit on that. But I would rather the show come back in winter and just be like, hey, continue it from where it left off. Because, I mean, it would be really stupid because it's not... <clears throat> because of the fact is this show started in October and not in the freaking summer as like it really did in the past. You can't even tell me where the fuck this show is going to kind of end before they take their little break and then resume. Because, I mean, we're almost to winter break, goddammit. I mean, we're halfway there and I'm just, I don't know, I'm scared. I'm just, I'm just ready. I want to see everything play out, be all animated. I cannot wait till next week, but then, I mean... We're just getting closer and closer to the moments that I'm not ready for, and I don't want to watch it yet. But other than that, guys, that is very Action Futures, episode 8 <clears throat> of season 4 of My Hero Academia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad, and of course, I will see you guys especially all next Saturday for episode 9. Bye, guys. <laughs>